Hey everyone, this is Mrs. Clark, and I'm going to show you how to do 755 divided by 5. So our biggest number here is 755. It's the dividend, and it's going to get divided up. Imagine if you had 755 pennies, and you're splitting them into five groups. So it's getting divided by 5. That's the divisor. The quotient is the answer, and that's what we don't know. So we are trying to figure out how many fives fit into 755. When you find your quotient, you should be able to do five times this number to get to 755. Division and multiplication are related, and that's why when you do the standard algorithm, you multiply as one of your steps. So our steps are divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. First, let's put in our dividend. And to use these text boxes, all you have to do is click and type. 755. And if you're on an iPad, you would double tap, and then you would type your number. OK, so if we do 755 divided by 5, it would take forever. But what you can do is one digit at a time. So basically, you're going to do 700 divided by 5. You'll have some left over. And then you'll do that plus 50 divided by 5. You'll have some left over. You'll do that plus 5 divided by 5. So you're just going one digit at a time. But you'll have some left over each time because it's not going to divide in perfectly at first. So how many fives can fit into 700? That's big math. But since we're using our digits, we're just going to do how many fives fit into seven. And the answer is one. If I had seven pennies, how many groups of five could I make? Just one. Because if you did two groups of five, that'd be 10. And you're only working with seven. So you can fit five into seven one time. Next, you're going to multiply it back down. One times five is five. And that's why I say we have some left over. You're going to subtract seven minus five is two. Next step is to bring down. So we're going to bring down our next digit. So we did 5 into 700, had a little bit left over. Now we're going to do 5 into this 50 here. So you just bring it down. We have a 25 to work with. So how many 5s fit into 25? Or if you skip count your 5s, how close can you get to 25? Well, 5 times. Now we multiply it back down. 5 times 5 is 25. So it fit in perfectly. All right. What we've learned so far is that 5 fits into 750 150 times. It fits into the 700 one time, plus some left over, and then it fits into the 55 times. And then we just got to do our last digit. So let's bring down that 5. 5 can go into 5, or 5 divided by 5. It's 1. Multiply it back down. 1 times 5 is 5. And subtract, we get a 0 here, which means there's no remainder, which means it fits in perfectly, which means if you had 755 pennies and you put them into five groups, you would have exactly 151 in each group with none left over, no remainder. That's why you have the 0 at the bottom. To check this, you would do 151 times 5, and it will equal 755 exactly. 100 times 5 is 500. 50 times 5 is 250. So add that. 500 plus 250 or 750. And 1 times 5 is 5. So 151 times 5 is 755. And 755 divided by 5 is 151, which is our quotient.